Bru, what the hell? Drop a twist video. Or drop the link if you already have. The finger coils are nice. Bro, can you make a video on how you get finger coils like that? Hey, drop a twist video. Nice hair. Twist bit plus. Curls just hit different. What's good, YouTube? It's Lone Prince. We're picking up right where you left off. The first section came out blurry on the camera, so now I'm showing y'all how to do it this way. Working in small sections is always beneficial especially with coarser hair. The oil also lets your hand glide across the twist as they unravel. Twisting the finger coils made it so that now they will maintain their shape after being untwisted. I definitely tied some of these one too many times. If you followed all the steps before this correctly, then this should be super easy to twist out. There shouldn't be any tangles or anything like that. I recommend you watch my previous video on how to do it correctly. The whole process is honestly satisfying. This is the best style to show off the length, but still maintain the curly pattern. Trash, this is wavy. I'm so amazed every time I do this twist out by the shape that my curls hold. It's ridiculous. When I do this, I like to make sure I have a good haircut. That way it's a two for one and I'm not wasting the curls on a nasty fade.
because his style took so long to twist, I don't do this this often. I can usually get away with around a month or more without having to do this again. Some hairs got stuck and needed to be broken off. So after I'm done with the section, I wrap it up, get it out the way, and move right on ahead. Sitting down takes pressure off your back, you know what I'm saying? Just relax. Fresh, this shit wavy. Some twists were harder to take out than others. My hair's ability to stretch is only a testament to how long and healthy it is. I spilled oil on the carpet, my ass is about to get beat. Oh no. Now the back of my hair is a little bit weirder because it's a bit more short than the rest. That's just the way I got it cut one time and it's been shorter ever since. It still follows the same process however. I just been trying to be consistent and keep up with your demands. <laughs> I love it here. People in school used to, you know what I'm saying, make fun of these and call them gummy worms, but who cares? They probably lame anyway.
after looking at the video, I realized the back probably had more fish to take out. But from now, I just wrapped it up. The roots sometimes get a little bit frizzy. So to get them back in shape, I always finger coil it a little bit. So just twist that root around your finger and it'll fall online. I always use my fingers to hold hair strands in place in case I need to move them out the way or anything like that. Now I can move on into the next section. I always put my hand right behind it just to make sure it gets to the area that I want it to and nowhere else just yet. Make sure to stay active in the comment section, I'm always showing love. The great thing about finger coils is that even though these are fully untwisted, I can go further in and twist each one again to get a more curly effect and more puffed out effect. At night, to maintain the style, I'll either put it back up like this into four sections, or I'll put that do-rag on, or nightcap. As always, I put oil in between the scalp. Don't waste excess. Friends, this is wavy. So this method helps combat shrinkage. It helps give your curls shape individually. The stretch on these is crazy too. They're super elastic because of the gel and other various products that I put in. Someone also asked what products I use. They'll be in the link in the description or down in the comment section. Always check them. Enjoy these up close shots and I'm going to just shut up. Now for a bonus, I'm just going to go through with a normal routine and show you all how it's done. I like the style, but I still want some more volume. So now I'm doing a normal routine, which involves spraying with water, moderately, not too much. To make my hair hang a little bit longer is the end goal. 
So let's put the products to the test. Using my hands to stretch it out is helping out tremendously. The shake game is crazy. Before I leave the house, I'll take care of that little bit of white residue, either by putting some more water over there or by using my fingers to get at it. Either way, it'll be taken care of. Can't get caught slipping outside the house. Like I said, the back is a lot shorter than the rest of my hair. So doing this for the back really helps it show off some better length instead of looking so uneven. I always double and triple check the surrounding areas just to make sure I twisted everything. And if there are still some twists left, I always, of course, untwist them. Even after this video, there will still be some twists that aren't untwisted, but as the week goes on, I'll take care of it. When people comment on my hair, a statement I always get is that the back is shorter than the rest. So it became a pet peeve of mine. I'm trying to grow it back out to match up and catch up with everything else. So pulling on it helps hide the fact that it's shorter than the rest. If you want growth like this, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. So some people say these look like dreads, but that's because they're not fully untangled yet. As the week goes on, or the month I should say, goes on and they unravel, you'll start to see the real curls and trust me, this isn't as curly as it gets. I got y'all with videos, but you're just gonna have to stay tuned for that. So, as a person with type 4 hair, this is how I show off my hang time and let my hair really show its true colors. If this helped you maintain your length, let me know down below. Look at that perfect DNA strand. When I do this style, I'm always reminded of this one picture that I always see of this ancient Egyptian and then a modern day person from that side of the world that has their hair that way. And that's the end goal for real. We're trying to get back to the roots and get back to the original. That's part of why I wear the Ankh too, but that's a different story. Let me know down below if the method worked for you. I'm curious if you tried it all the way through.